On your mark, get set, go. And the other thing they talked about was popping the stylet earlier. So I'm going to make sure before I go in, I'm going to hold this down until I see that red record button in the upper left and my green button is uh, flashing it's turned from blue to green so going in he's got a pharyngeal obstruction his tongue is swollen 50 percent and he's got a limited cervical range of motion So what I have to do is I know I have to get around the tongue, so I have to open his mouth the best I can. He's going to be paralyzed, so I'm going to grab his tongue and jaw, come in from the left, sweep the tongue. I'm using a Mac 3 blade, and now I don't have really a view of really anything, so I'm going to pull back out. Now the blade is really not in all that much, but I can see the uvula. I'm going to progressively, now that I'm midline, I found my epiglottis. So I can take my bougie, if this is the only view that I'm going to get, and try to snake it right underneath the epiglottis. So then if I lift up a little bit in true direct laryngoscopy fashion, I see that I've got a good view of my vocal cords. If I were to use a video laryngoscopy approach, again, video enhanced direct laryngoscopy, I've got my view about the top third of my screen, looking in the mouth of the tube, controlling it from the top, goes in, pop my stylet before I completely put the tube in, and done. Oh yeah, that blade is much deeper. Beautiful.